this is such a such a great time to be alive. Look at what we get to do. This is hard stuff. This is big stuff, and we get to write history. So, like Mike talked about, this, this is not a one-man show. It's not uh, a, a one-year show. We've been building for years, and this weight that you've been building and bringing and supporting these good representatives here and at the national level, it's starting to break through because we know it's time. Let me tell you just a couple stories, okay? North Dakota. My good friend Betty Grandy is a state representative in North Dakota, and when I meet with her, she's just giddy. She says, we have so darn much money to educate our kids. We're putting billions of dollars into our school buildings and into our classrooms. North Dakota was made a state five years, or they're enabling it five years apart from Utah, and the terms are word for word the same in the disposal of the land. They have 3% federally controlled land. They get 100% of the mineral value, of the mineral royalties from their land. They get to control 100% of the access of their lands. Is it time for us to provide better for Utah's children? talk about our roads that you know so well. Federal government shut down 18,000 roads. And with it, our, our access and our economy and our way of life. Is it time for Utahns to control access to Utah? Yes. Let's talk about our forests. Federal government says we can't cut a tree. Even when the beetles ravage through the forest, we can't touch a tree. So we have 700 to 1,000 trees per acre, and the fuel builds up, and when fuel builds up, fuel does what fuel does. Imagine that. And so now we're having wildfires ravage three times the size, three times the intensity, three times the cost, and shutting down sawmills all over the state, shutting down jobs, killing millions of animals, spewing billions of pounds of pollution, destroying our watershed for generation. My friends, is it time for Utahns to manage Utah? Let's talk about Illinois and Missouri and Arkansas and that great western state of Florida. Florida once said that we're worse off than all the western states because the federal government's controlling our land. Illinois was once 90% federally controlled for decades, as was Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. They're 3% federally controlled today. Why? They knew, their, they knew their history. They knew their rights. They banded together, and they simply refused to take no for an answer. Is it time for Utah to secure control to Utah, just like it's already been done before? Yeah. We can do this. Like Ronald Reagan said, it's a wonderful time to be alive. We're lucky not to live in pale and timid times. We've been blessed with the opportunity to stand for something. For liberty and freedom and fairness, these are things we're fighting for. Worth devoting our lives to, so let us go forth with good cheer and stout hearts, happy warriors, out to seize back a country and a world of freedom. It's already been done before. The promises are the same, and this is the only solution big enough. You can find out more at AmericanLandsCouncil.org. There's legal white papers, there's all kinds of information you can pass along, but that's the whole case right there. It's already been done before. Promises are the same. It's the only solution big enough. And with a federal government that's now committing fiscal suicide, $16 trillion in debt, going for $17 trillion, overspending by a trillion dollars a year, and nearly 40 cents of every dollar we spend in the state of Utah comes from a fiscally suicidal federal government, and we have more recoverable oil in Utah, Colorado, Wyoming than the rest of the world combined. Certainly, Certainly we can manage these lands. We can manage open space, access, multiple use federal public lands, become state public lands for the multiple use, sustained yield with local planning. Guys, it's time for Utah to be Utah. It's time for Utah to be a state. Are you ready? Is it time for Utah to get the federal government to honor to Utah the same promise it's already made and kept with all the states east of Colorado? Mike's going to tell you about what's happening. What you started right here, what your energy has started in giving support to your representatives here and at the national level is spreading throughout the western states. This is going to be a long education. It's going to be a, a challenging fight. But if Utah can't do it, who can? 
We're going to lead this fight because Utah is the model to the nation of what it means to be self-reliant and free. Thank you so very much for your support. Continue the fight.